For this experiment, you will need a retort stand clamped to a table. And on the stand, Pasco sine wave generator that will generate the specific frequencies that we'll need. Also, in this experiment, a Pasco string vibrator where the string is tied onto. And of course, the string that we'll use in this experiment. To create the tension in the string, we're going to use 500 gram masses and one 50 gram mass. And on the other end of the string, a pulley clamped to the table and the string just hanging over top of that pulley where we'll hang the masses that will create the tension in the string. Now in this experiment the string that we'll be using as you can see has a length of 144.5 centimeters. Now if we take one meter of the string used in this experiment it has a mass of 2.61 grams. So with 100 gram masses on the string we adjust the frequency of the sine wave generator to produce a fourth order harmonic vibration. Now, with 150 grams on the string and the string vibrating again in the fourth harmonic, the frequency needed for this on the frequency generator is 33.5 hertz. Now, with 200 gram masses on the string, the fourth order harmonic occurs at a frequency 38.4 hertz. Now 250 grams of mass on the string Three hundred gram masses on the string. Three hundred and fifty grams of mass on the string. Four hundred grams of mass on the string.
Here's 450 grams of mass on the string. Here's the last trial with 500 grams of mass on the string and the string vibrating in the fourth order harmonic again. The frequency necessary for this is 60.9 hertz. Now, with the worksheet that accompanies this video, determine the relationship between the speed of the wave and the tension on the string for the fourth order harmonic.